Hey guys, it's Matt from Cobra Fitness and welcome to day 10 of our 30 day fitness challenge. Day 10 is core conditioning, so abs, lower back, side obliques. We're gonna start off with a warm up, two minutes on the rope. If you haven't got a rope, that's fine. Jump in jacks, jump in squats, high knees, running on the spot, anything to get your heart rate up for two minutes. Okay, let's get started. Day number 10. It's been a solid 10 days so far. I'm sure you all have enjoyed the seventh day, the rest day, well, the active recovery day with our friends from Yoga One, Nabu Dhabi. I've, I love the comments, the comments we get after every class. Some of you look forward to it, it's the best part of your day. Other people, oh, I'm so sore or it's exercise I haven't done before. Any questions or you're not sure about certain things, feel free to ask, shoot a, shoot a message away. We'll get back to you. Any questions on any exercise, any questions on any form of any exercise. And again, we're always gonna try and add modifications to each exercise. So there's an easier version for any of you guys that can't, can't do it. Remember, this is for everybody. So all fitness levels, from just getting started right the way through. You can jump in, do the best you can. Everyone gets results. So we'll do another minute of skipping and we'll get started with a solid core conditioning session on this 30 day fitness challenge. How many of you guys are seeing results so far? Seen some changes, more of a cut in the triceps. Bottom six abs popping out. Or is that a little bit too optimistic? Remember, abs are made in the kitchen. So we get this done, and we go and have something healthy to eat. Ten seconds left, guys. Doing great. Most of our exercise will be on the floor today, so make sure you have a towel or a mat to lay on. And that's us. So, core conditioning. First exercise. We're going to be in a plank position and we're gonna be in side knees for 20. After side knees, we're gonna be doing supermans. So let me get my towel ready. So, we start side knees for 20. As soon as we finish, we're gonna drop down. Hands and feet don't touch the ground. Squeeze halfway. Squeeze. So, we are smashing the core, our abs, sorry, abs, side obliques, and lower back. Okay, so we'll get started. Three sets. First one, plank position, and squeeze. One, two, keeping the hips down, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Once you get to twenty, two more. Straighten our stomach. Down you go. Hands up, legs up. Squeeze. One. Don't touch the ground between. Three. If it's too hard. Bring your arms back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How was that? If you struggled, the modifications, bring your arms back so it's less weight. Or if that's still too hard, keep your legs on the ground. Just lift your upper body, okay? But what we're trying to do is have our legs and our arms lift up, so we're squeezing in the arch of our back, we're squeezing our lower back. Okay, number two of three. Hips down and one, two, three, four, five for 20, six. Bring your legs back together in the center. Nine, 10 to go, 10, nine, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. We're laying down. Remember, arms out in front if we can. Lift up and squeeze. If it's too hard, bring it back. Two, three. If that's too hard, leave our feet on the ground. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's three options there for you. The third option, feet on the ground, arms bent, is much easier. So ideally we start with option one, and if we struggle, try option two, and then if we really can't, go to option three. But always start with the hardest uh, option, if it's safe to do so, as long as you haven't got any, any underlying health issues, sore back or anything. Okay, one more set. Feet together, hips down, core tight, and squeeze, not touching the ground. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, halfway, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down we go. And one, two, don't touch the ground. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, very good. How are you feeling? Yep, me too. So, our next exercise, again, very static. Not a lot of movement. We're gonna be holding a plank. We're gonna hold our plank, and I'm gonna give you a couple of options for the plank. It's gonna be 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, and then a 30 second rest, okay? But remember, between, don't touch the ground. There's no rest between. So, I'm gonna show you. We can hold the plank like this, feet together. We can hold the plank like this, but we can't hold it here. Okay, our back's dropping, it's putting pressure on our back. So 30 seconds here, 30 seconds here, and then 30 seconds on the other side. Okay? So I'm gonna have a break between my second and my third, so you're not looking at the back of my head, but you're gonna go straight into it, okay? So I'll count it out. You start, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Instead of me rolling over to look at the back of my head, I'm gonna change sides. We'll do it together. We'll start in five seconds. Three, two, and one. 30 seconds, we're holding the plank. Remember with our plank, we're always pushing our hips up towards our chest. So our lower back is not feeling any of the pressure. Our abs are super tight, squeezing super tight. Really, really pushing up towards our chest, activating our core as much as we can. We've got 10 seconds left, and we're gonna drop onto the right elbow. We're gonna drop onto our right elbow, keeping our body as straight and stiff as we can. Two, one. Okay, straight as we can. Don't let this drop. Imagine there's a string lifting my hips up. Cool. And we wanna have our elbow directly under our shoulder. Less pressure that way. 15 seconds. In 15 seconds, you're just gonna roll straight onto your left elbow. I'm gonna change sides, but you're gonna roll straight onto your left elbow with your knees not touching the ground. There's no rest between. Three, two, one. So you just rolled over, keeping that straight, keeping that up nice and tight, squeezing. If it's easy for you, or you wanna make it more difficult, lift up. Squeeze as hard as you can, staying as straight as you can. Very, very good for 10 seconds more. We're gonna have a 30 second rest and do three sets. That was three sets. <laughs> three, two, woo, one. How was that? Good? I'm sure it was. As long as there's no pain in the back. If there's pain in the back, pain in the back, we need to change our positioning a little bit. Remember, tilting our hips towards our chest, activating our core. In 10 seconds, we're gonna go into set number two of three. <clears throat> Five, four, 
three, two, one. If we're doing this, that's fine. Feet together, our hands aren't touching and our hips are squeezing up. Very, very good. There's no point in cheating. You're training by yourself. You're your own competition, okay? So push as hard as you can. If you really need to have a rest, only you know that. Five seconds left, we're gonna roll onto our right elbow. Remember, keeping our elbow under our shoulder. Two, one. So we wanna keep this line straight. We don't wanna be out here. We don't wanna be over here. We wanna keep it relatively straight so there's less pressure. Nice and tight core. The body's nice and straight. Tensed, very tense in the core. Side obliques. Should be almost shivering. 10 seconds and we're gonna swap onto our left elbow. Get onto our left arm. Three, two, one. Don't touch the ground, swap sides. I'm gonna swap. And quick changeover, here we go. Easy work. Tight, tight. Up if you need to make it harder, lift up here. Elbow underneath the shoulder, no pressure on the shoulder, or less pressure on the shoulder. Very good. Just over five seconds left for the second set. Two, one, rest. Oh, very good guys, very good. Another 30 seconds rest, and we shall do it again for the very last time. I'm gonna move on to a, an interesting exercise next. I'm sure you're gonna enjoy. All right, 10 seconds, we're on our last set. Ready, this is gonna be the hardest one. We're gonna push as hard as we can for this one. Ready, two, one. Squeezing those hips forward. Squeezing the hips up towards the chest. Activating the abs tightly as we can. Good, we're only 15 seconds in. We're gonna drop onto our right shoulder. Actually this time, the last set, let's drop onto our left, our left elbow first, okay? So we're gonna go onto our left elbow first. We're gonna do that in five seconds. We go straight onto our left elbow. Two, one. There we go, like Spider-Man. Keeping the hips up. Nice and tight in the side, nice and tight in the center. Nice and straight, our body. Okay, we're holding for 15 more seconds. I'm gonna be a break dancer again and jump onto the right elbow. I'm gonna do so in six seconds. You're not gonna to touch the ground between the changeover. Three, two, one. Change. Just evens it out a little bit. If we do the other side first. <clears throat> tight, tight. Lift and straight. 15 seconds to go. Good. And two, one. Rest. How was that, guys? Feel in the right spots? Again, if there's any questions or any exercises, it doesn't feel like you're doing it right or it doesn't feel like it's hitting the right spot, shoot me a comment after the class. I'm more than happy to go through it with you and fix it so on the next session or your next training session, you can get it right. More than happy. All right, exercise number three. I'm sorry about this, we have to do a few push-ups, okay? We're gonna do 10, okay, we're gonna do 10. I'll put this here, just because it's a mad brand, and I'm sweating all over the floor. We're starting out, we're coming up. One, two, three, one, two, two, one. Two, three, one, two, four, one, okay? So, there's gonna be a press up involved. We're gonna come across and squeeze, squeeze from your chest to your hip on an angle, okay? Are we ready? We start out, reach across. One, two, 
three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, number four, one, two, five, one, two, six, one, two, seven, one, two, eight, one, two, nine, one, two, ten. So it almost turns into a Hindu push-up. Hindu push-up, up nice and high, pushing down. We're keeping our core super tight. Squeeze, squeeze, push up. Super, super tight abs from the start to the end. That's set number one. Set number two of three. Okay. Five seconds and we go and do it again. Are you ready? And reach across, right hand to left. One. Two, three, one, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five, one, two, six, one, two, seven, one, two, Eight, one, two, nine, one, two, ten. Oh, definitely gets the heart rate up. Definitely gets the heat rate up, that's for sure. But one more set of that. I'm gonna do a standing exercise, similar to a Russian twist. It is a Russian twist. It's a standing Russian twist. You're gonna need your six packs, your six pack for the next exercise. Last one of these guys, and we'll move on. When we squeeze across, some of you might not feel it as much as you should. I want you to really twist and squeeze, okay? Twist and squeeze, not just touch, touch, push up. Squeeze across as hard as you can. Right, so, we go. One, two, three. One, one, two, two, one, two, Three, one, two, four, one, two, five, one, two, six, one, two, seven, one, two, eight, one, two, nine, one, two, Good job. Hope you're feeling that as much as I am. Hope you're sweating as much as I am. That's tough. Tough on the arms as well. Get a bit of a pump. Right, so our next exercise is gonna be standing. As I mentioned. So with our Russian twist, you know what Russian twist? We sit on the floor and we go like this. It's our Russian twist. So we're gonna do the same thing but standing. So, I'm gonna hold on to my weight. If this is too heavy, try with something else, but give it a go first. Straight arms, core tight, back tight. We're gonna go twist, one, two. Now, when I go either way, from the front on, I don't wanna go, it's not right. We're keeping this straight, and we're twisting, one, come back to the center. Two, come back to the center. We're going to do 20 of those. One, two, 18, 19, 20. We're gonna rest for 30 seconds. We're gonna do three sets. Do three sets, okay? A different variation to your seated Russian twist. A little bit easier. So, straight arms and out to the side. Big twist, back to the center. Big twist, back to the center. Three. Four. Five. Six. 
six, seven, eight, nine. When you get to the end, squeeze, 10. 10 to go. Squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Whew, mate, how's that? Bloody tough. If it's too tough, change the weight. And if it's not tough enough, up the weight. Good luck though, good luck up in the weight. Because again, form, form is the key. If we're putting two six packs, for example, and going, it's pointless. Tight, controlled. Get out here and squeeze. Get out here and hold for a second. Hold for a second. All right, set number two. And one, two. So we slow it down a little bit. Three, and you get more out of it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, one more, 20. I know the comments are gonna come through. Oh man, that was tough, but more on my arms. Yes, you're feeling it on your shoulders, for sure. What I discovered halfway through that, if I'm going this way and I let my hips go with me, it makes it easier. If I try and pull my right hip that way, at the same time as my right shoulder that way, I'm getting a lot more through the side obliques. So I'm not twisting my hips at all, I'm just not letting my hips come with me. So I'm keeping them here and just twisting, twisting, so that's staying still, not following. Don't let your hips come with you. One more set, and then I've got a surprise. Ready, straight arms, stiff hips. Don't let your hips come with you, keep them square. Ready, straight arms and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, just move your, pull your hip a little bit the opposite direction. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, like you need a big stretch. 14, 15, 16, 17, ooh, that was a good one. 18, don't drop it, I'm dropping it. 19, one more. <clears throat> 20. Was that hard? I reckon it was. I reckon it was tough. It's good though. New exercises. We're mixing up a little bit. We want to keep it as fresh as we can. Remember, we're at home. We don't have any equipment. We have a six pack of water because San Pellegrino sponsored us. Wink, wink. San Pellegrino sponsored us. Or we have a six pack of Masapi. What do we have? We're trying to do these exercises and keep them as fresh as we can without having to be in a gym, okay? We're in a hotel, we're on a business trip, we're out of, outside of our comfort zone, we don't have the equipment we want. We're still gonna get fit and we're still gonna get strong, not just get fit. We're not gonna just maintain, we're gonna build, okay? That's what it's about. So, I did say I had a surprise. I do, I'm not gonna lie. I had a lot of comments 
man, super abs, amazing. Oh my God, super abs, super abs. Super abs. We're gonna finish off today with your favorite. You said my favorite, and it's your favorite. Super abs. So, super abs is one, two, three, four, five exercises. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 equals 100 reps. Because we've smashed a relatively solid session today, we're almost 30 minutes in, we'll do one set of super abs. If you choose to do another two sets or another set, excuse me, it's up to you. But I'm gonna do one set and I'll leave the rest to you. Super set, uh, super abs is the one. So quality, this 100 reps, we're not rushing through, we've got nothing else, this is us, we're finished after this. One set of super abs, okay? Go through it with me. We're going to keep our back flat, my hips flat, my shoulders off the ground. I'm gonna keep my hands here to start for 20. You follow along, okay? Same time, nice and slow, quality. At the top, squeeze, one, two. Your hands don't come off your legs. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, as slow as me, 10, nine, don't release all the way down. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Shoulders don't touch the ground. Heels. One, two, three, four, five. Squeeze. Eight, nine, ten to go. Chest up. Squeeze as hard as you can. Six, five, four, three, two. Left leg over right, right elbow left. One, two, up and over. Three, four, five, six for 10. Seven, then we swap. Eight, nine, swap. Shoulders don't touch the ground between any rep. One, any set, sorry. Two, three, four, five. Five more. Now remember, the next one's a bicycle. So you've got three variations to the bicycle. And I'll show you, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, or 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Hands under your hips, legs out straight. One, two, three, for 20, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 to go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I know what you're all thinking. Man, that was easier. It's not easier. You're getting stronger. It's day 10. And 10 days straight of the 30 day fitness challenge. You're getting stronger. That's super abs. That smashed you the first time. Now, I give you three variations. I should have given it to you at the start, but I gave you three variations for the bicycle. The first one's the hardest. The second one's just a normal bicycle with your back flat. And the third one was the easiest modification with just the upper body squeezing across. You don't have to do that. You just do the first one. If you struggle, go to the second. I'm just gonna show you the three variations each time. So, guys, thank you so much I hope you enjoyed the class. I certainly did. Big shout out to Hard Knocks Fight Gear, best fight gear in the world, sponsoring our fitness challenge. Thank you so much, day 10. See you tomorrow for day 11. Make sure you are commenting. You've subscribed. You've shared it with your mates. I wanna hear all about it. Thanks, guys.